Hello friends, uh, this is Gökçe from cgk.com. First of all, congratulations on completing this long course. If you have come this far, thumbs up. This determination will take you far in this journey. Uh, what's next in this long uh, journey is rendering. You need to learn rendering if you want to create beautiful images with these 3D models uh, now you can make. Uh, if you haven't watched these uh, playlists and just stumbled upon this video, this could also interest you, so please um, hang on. Uh, this video is about a rendering series that we have recorded as CG Cave, and I want to show you what's in that course. You can follow uh, this modeling knowledge uh, with rendering knowledge and uh, you will be able to, uh, hopefully, you will be able to create great images. Uh, this video is a promotional video for that course. Uh, first, I want to talk a little bit about uh, Corona Render, which is a widely used 3D render plugin for 3ds Max and Cinema 4D. Uh, in my opinion, compared to other competitors, uh, other render engines, render plugins, Corona is really easy to understand, really easy to get on board with um, and easy to use, in my opinion. It has an artistic approach to uh, a lot of things, and uh, which means uh, you can just put the materials, put the lights and just take a look at your scene and uh, iterate uh, from there. You don't need to tweak a lot of values, in my opinion, at least, or in my experience, let's say. And also, uh, it is as capable as other render engines like V-Ray. In this course, uh, the course I was talking about, uh, we are going to create five different scenes, uh, including an interior scene, an exterior scene, and a lot of different small scenes or renders. We are not expecting you to create the models yourself, so we are sharing the scene files with you. So you will only just uh, open the scene files and do some tweaks and you will be able to uh, get uh, renders uh, from there. You will be able to follow the course from there. Uh, by the way, one more cool thing about this plugin is that it has a 45 day uh, demo version. There are no restrictions, you just can download it. Uh, you don't need to pay anything, just open a, up an account, a free account and start using the plugin right away. As I mentioned before, we will start from installing the plugin. Uh, we will learn about placing and adjusting camera. Uh, and I'm going to talk about why I place uh, certain cameras uh, so, uh, on certain places. Like we will uh, go in a little bit uh, into composition as well uh, for this. And then uh, we are going to learn how to place lights, create moods with lights, create stories with lights. And then we are going to learn how to create simple materials. Then we are going to learn how to uh, create complex materials, very complex materials. In the end, I'm even going to show you a little bit post-production in Photoshop, but this is not a course focused on post-production, but we will uh, have a stage or a section uh, just for that as well. One more thing I really like about this course is I try to avoid teaching uh, little things to you with a button by button approach. What I mean uh, with this is, uh, if you click this button, this will happen and uh, you need to do this to make this happen. Uh, I try to avoid uh, teaching like that. I tried to approach the problems from a photographer's point of view. So in real life, uh, a photographer will try to create something, imagine something in his head and then he, she will have problems achieving the final result he, she wants. In this tutorial, I tried to approach things like that as well. I tried to um, talk about why I'm doing what I'm doing. So uh, I'm hoping that this will guide you through your own projects as well, because you will, all of us, we will encounter similar problems uh, throughout all of the projects. If you do, if you have experience like me, like t over 10 years, you will uh, think that I have seen everything because most of the problems are alike. A at least the solutions are alike. So I'm trying to, I will try to pass you these uh, solutions that I came up with through these years of experience. Uh, in this series, we are going to use uh, Corona and 3ds Max mostly. Basic 3ds Max knowledge like moving objects or rotating objects or navigating in the scene is required to follow this course. Uh, so if you don't have this knowledge, I highly recommend you to go to our YouTube channel, CGK. You can search for that in YouTube. Watch the free tutorials uh, that we have created, like uh, the playlist I was talking about in the beginning. In my opinion, uh, I want to talk about a little bit more about Corona Render. In my opinion, Corona Render is a great follow-up to V-Ray. Uh, I was a V-Ray user for over eight years. 
And then two, three years ago, I stumbled upon Corner Ender. And I'm really happy about this because it changed my uh, whole point of view. Uh, by the way, in my opinion, changing render engines, changing 3D softwares is a great way to learn more about your subject because one tool is usually good in something, good at doing something, but it's not really good at doing other things. So different softwares, different plugins will uh, always uh, show you uh, different ways, different approaches. I really like how Corona approaches the, to solution uh, to the problems uh, it tries to solve. Uh, I'm happily using uh, Corona uh, <laughs> for two or three years, and actually I changed the whole workflow uh, in my uh, company as well. Everybody is using Corona, uh, so I really like it, and I really uh, like to teach it as well. By artistic approach, uh, I mean that you usually put some lights in the scene, uh, put some materials in the scene, choose some materials and assign them to the objects. And then you have a pretty much a good result uh, on the get-go. So that will help you iterate what you are doing uh, a lot. It will give you a lot of time to iterate the artistic approach, the artistic way of doing things. Uh, compared to other uh, technical engines like uh, whatever, let's not name uh, names, uh, drop names, I guess. Uh, but uh, in a lot of other render uh, engines, you need to tweak a lot of values, like a lot of uh, numbers and stuff. But in Corona, you just go ahead and ju just do whatever you, you want to do. Of course, we have some technical things to do. Uh, I'm not talking about like uh, it's a magical thing or anything, but I guess you get the idea what I'm talking about because I'm sure that you have struggled with these numbers and values a lot, uh, technical things a lot. So Corona has an edge uh, over the, uh, for that as well. Uh, there is a converter in Corona, by the way. Uh, one more cool thing about Corona is uh, you can convert other uh, render engines, materials, lights to V-Ray. Uh, which gives you a lot of speed converting the scenes because uh, the way I see this is um, like I guess like 60 or 70% uh, of all the stock 3D models in the internet is uh, created by uh, for V-Ray so with just a button uh, you can just convert all those to Corona and you can use them this is very uh, powerful uh, thing in my opinion and it's a solid script but it, it does not crash or create weird things and I really like that about Corona as well and I, I think this edge gave Corona a lot of room to grow in my opinion. In this story we are going to use 3ds Max uh, 2019 and 3ds Max 2020. If you are using older versions like 2017 for example, I have converted the scene files to older versions of 3ds Max for you as well. You will be able to follow them up but if you are using uh, versions older than 2017 like 2016 for example then you won't be able to use the scene files to follow this course so uh, please uh, uh, if you are using older versions upgrade your max and uh, then start this course if you like uh, what you heard uh, in this video if you want to follow this course if you want to uh, sign up for this course there, there is a, a link in the description you can uh, just click on that link and just start watching right away. I think it will be fun and uh, I hope it will take you from where you are right now and uh, take you to a better place in your 3D journey. Uh, I'm very excited to hear your feedback. Please share them with me from in Facebook, Instagram, uh, YouTube. So to sum up, I spent a lot of time creating this course. It took me a lot of time, but it was so much fun. Uh, I hope you will be able to get that uh, fun uh, from my voice through the lessons. Uh, I hope you will enjoy them too. It will be fun for you as well to uh, follow them. Uh, so see you in the courses.